So the way that I became a volunteer is I looked at the website because I'd heard of mine before. Up to that point, I had been with the NHS in care, but I wanted to volunteer because, you know, I had done a lot of this stuff myself, but I wanted to be on the other side of the curtain. So I decided to have a look at what Mind offered. I, I decided that I wanted to give back in some way. So the open activity sessions, from my point of view, is it's an open session that allows people to drop in when they feel that they need someone to talk to. Now in terms of the activities that I do, help do origami, which I find very therapeutic. I mean, I found it very therapeutic for in my years. I also did for a short time music, which we still do, but is run by someone else, which is very enjoyable. Really, we're just there for someone to talk to, you know, to help facilitate, and uh, just to provide, some, to provide someone something to do in their week, because, you know, when people have mental health issues, it's, they find it hard to get a schedule in place, so this helps in that regard. In terms of experiences that I've had here, I. When I first started here, I had a lot of problems myself, which um, I still do now, but when I came here, I was exposed to a lot of people and a lot of large crowds, so it helped me personally as well in talking to people in big groups. And I also found that when you come here, you start to learn from loads of different points of view because, you know, there's, there's always different points of view to look at things, so it helps in that regard. So we're currently supported by 70 volunteers which provides us with at least 280 hours of extra manpower each week. That's massive. Thank you to each and every one of you lovely people for your dedication, commitment, hard work, empathy and passion. Without you, North Kent Mind wouldn't be what it is and offer the lifeline that it does to so many. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.